Brazil, the land of beautiful nature. Asian cities. Perica. Soccer. And friendly dancing people. But unfortunately, Brazil also has its challenges. The presumably eradicated and forgotten disease measles is making its return. What is measles? Why did it return? And what has been done to stop it? To understand the problem, it is important to first understand the basics of the measles virus and how it can take over something as big as the human body. Measles is a virus that contains proteins and RNA. The virus cannot reproduce on its own, so it needs a host cell to do so. The measles virus can enter the body through the eyes, nose or mouth. And once it enters the body, the infection starts in the lungs. It is especially good at infecting the body's first line of defense, the macrophages. Normally, macrophages are the guard cells that protect the lungs from intruders. However, the virus takes over the cells and transforms them into a dangerous virus production center. Once the cell is filled with viruses, they can leave the cell and the cycle begins over and over again. However, the immune system has powerful weapons against a virus infection, natural killer cells. They check other cells for infection, and if these cells are infected, they order them to commit suicide. For the first 10 days, this is so effective that you won't even notice that you are infected, and thus feel completely fine. But, what makes the measles virus so powerful then? Well, after a period of fighting the virus, the macrophages alert the dendritic cells, the so-called brain of your immune system. They collect samples of the intruders, travel to the lymph nodes, and then activate other cells of the immune system to eradicate the infection very fast. But, the measles virus uses a dreadful but smart tactic. It infects the dendritic cells and uses them as a Trojan horse to enter deeper into the body. The virus is therefore able to infect virgin killer T and B cells and thus attack the system that was set up to fight it. Once the virus enters the lymph system, it is able to enter the bloodstream and spread all across the body. It infects organs like the spleen, the liver, the intestines and other organs, like the lungs. This results in symptoms that range from a very high fever to a headache, sickness, bronchitis and the typical measles rash. In the lungs, the immune system was doing pretty okay, but now a million of viruses attack the lungs a second time and kill countless cells. As a result, the defense system is completely wiped out. At this stage, the infected person starts coughing millions of measles viruses. The virus is so contagious that if this infected person meets someone that is not vaccinated, there is a 90% chance this person will get infected too, making it one of the most contagious viruses in the world. Without the protected army of the immune system in the lungs, other bacteria and viruses that would usually not stand a chance can now enter the lungs without a problem. This results in the development of parallel infections that can cause pneumonia, the most common way to die from measles. In some cases, the virus reaches the brain and causes a brain infection. If it does so, the chances of dying are 20 to 40 percent and there may be long-term damage. However, there is hope. Our body does not give up and fights back. 
Some dendritic cells are still alive and activate parts of the immune system to fight the virus. Plasma cells in the lymph nodes start producing antibodies that mark the virus for destruction or clamp them together. Moreover, killer T cells are activated to kill the infected cells. After two to three weeks, the body usually gets the upper hand and overcomes the infection. However, the immune system is severely weakened, leaving the body vulnerable to other diseases. But once the virus is overcome, the body is immune to the virus forever. Although most people worldwide are vaccinated, there are still more than 140,000 deaths caused by measles in the year 2018, meaning the virus is still not completely eradicated. There is a safe, cheap and effective vaccine available against the measles virus. In Brazil, this vaccine is provided by the SUS, short for Sistema Unico de Saúde. This system provides free healthcare for every individual in Brazil, including the measles vaccination. Luckily, most children do receive this vaccine. They are vaccinated on 12 months, with 12 months, and then again with 15 months. Um, you get this vaccine uh, together with other two vaccines. So you get uh, measles, rubella, uh, yeah. and uh, cachumba. Before we continue, let us introduce you to Fabiana Lima Pessoa de Mendonça, or in short, Fabiana. We met Fabiana on the Pediatrics Infectology Department at Hospital João Paulo II. Fabiana works there as a medical pediatrics resident and showed us around the department. She knows a lot about infectious diseases, like measles is, and will share her knowledge and experience with us. If the vaccine is available in Brazil and provided for free by the SUS, how does it come that some children today still did not get the vaccination? What we are finding out now is that the main people um, that are getting um, affected by the measles mm -hmm. are people usually that didn't receive the vaccine. Uh, so people, for example, that are not allowed it to receive the vaccine. So okay. For example, people with immunosuppressive yeah. people and um, ages with ages of risk, for example, babies, little babies or something, and uh, transplanted people, um, who takes, people who take medications and um, people who really can receive the vaccine, so they are not vaccination, they are not protected, and um, when they get contacted with the measles, um, they get they, they, they get you they get sick. Uh, usually, the population gets vaccinated, and you get like this whole of protection uh, during a couple of times because the people get like scared, and so everybody gets vaccinated, which is what, what's happening right now at our at, at Brazil. So everybody is getting vaccinated, but w with the time, people start to get a little lazy with the vaccination, so uh, they start to not get so worried about it. We usually see those kinds of outbreaks from yeah. time to time. Uh, it had already been an outbreak on another time of the past. In yeah. years. So from time to time there are outbreaks like that. In Brazil we see this all the time. Many people that still insist not to vaccinate. And it can be just religion. Either uh, They also said uh, Things like, oh, because it's made on eggs and I'm vegan or something. I've heard everything. Children that did not receive the vaccine are prone to get infected by the measles virus. This can be seen in Brazil right now, with an increase in the number of measles cases across the country. How many cases of suspected and confirmed measles have been reported in the hospital this year? There were like many cases of suspected measles. Because here we receive almost uh, all the suspected cases from the cities. Uh, they send us the patient to um, to do the exams too, and then um, we, uh, we put this patient in the isolated nursery. We just do the exams, which is the the swab. We had here like confirmed yeah. cases. Um, I think there were like three or four cases here and 
but they were all 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 of them were like um, uh, very susceptible patients to get measles. With the measles outbreak in Brazil right now, there have been taken extra measurements inside the hospital and on a public level to prevent a further spread of the virus. But as a public um, measurements, they are trying to do like campaigns of vaccination. They're trying to get people informed about the disease and about the first symptoms. In the campaign, they started to put uh, an, a vaccine from six years, from six months old to the babies to uh, to twelve months, so uh, to all the babies, so it's a zero dose. Uh, that's how it's called. Um, a measles zero dose for all the babies after six months old. It the baby start uh, gradually to lose these antibodies. So uh, we, it's not uh, clear. From like, uh, well, when is when will he lose? When will this baby lose he, this antibody? So, from six months to the one month, usually after ch after the uh, twelve months, the baby is, is not no longer with any antibodies of his mother. But from six months uh, to the twelve month. Uh, he can still have some and can still have not. It depends on each baby. On the hospital we have this uh, thing that, for example, every time someone gets here with a suspicion, with suspect symptoms, the, we have like this emergency yeah. room here. So whenever a, a patient gets here with symptoms of measles, this person goes to the isolated room and then the doctor goes there with the N95 mask, which is a specific mask. That's the one we use to see people with measles, with suspected measles. And in Brazil, which is very common here, with tuberculosis to Brazil. Next to public campaigns, the zero dose vaccination and increased attention in the hospital, also other initiatives are implemented. For example, home visits, done by community health agents together with an auxiliary nurse in order to check the vaccination status of children. We are taking you to Monte Santo de Minas, a little village 432 kilometers southwest of Belo Horizonte, in the south of the state Minas Gerais. Let's first introduce you to the home visit team. Essa é a Tamires, ela é auxiliar de enfermagem. Esse aqui é o Bruno, ele é o agente comunitário de saúde. Essa aqui é a Josiane e ela também é agente comunitária de saúde. Deixa eu ver o que vocês fizeram hoje? Hoje foi realizada uma busca ativa, foi feita uma varredura com as crianças de 6 meses a 5 anos de idade. É, foi feita uma conferência dos cartões para ver se todos já estão vacinados com a primeira e a segunda dose da tríplice viral, né, que é a sarampo, saram, cachumba e rubéola. Graças a Deus ele tinha sido erradicado no Brasil, mas infelizmente ele voltou com, há uns oito meses atrás, ele tem voltado esse sarampo para o Brasil, por isso que voltou a vacinação e a gente está fazendo essa busca ativa, essa bar barredura, porque há muitos anos ele tinha sido erradicado no Brasil e agora com a imigração, com outras pessoas vindo hum. para o Brasil, essas que antes não tinham. E esse sarampo é uma delas. Sarampo, cachumba, a rubéola também. Porque em outros países não tinha vacinação, no Brasil tem. De quanto em quanto tempo vocês fazem esse trabalho? De olhar cartões? Qual que é a frequência desse trabalho? É, a gente é, tem lá Geralmente visita semanal que a gente vai né, nas casas, visita. E mensal, que a gente está sempre olhando os cartões, acompanhamento do gestante, hipertenso e diabético, e nas campanhas que a gente sempre está indo né, com o técnico de enfermagem fazer as visitas. With these extra measurements, Brazil plans to eradicate the virus now and in the future. Luckily, there is hope. As the measurements are implemented effectively, 
and a decrease in the number of reported measles cases can be seen. To end, Brazil is and will stay one of the most beautiful countries in the world. It welcomes every tourist and foreigner that takes time to discover the charming land and the warmth and openness of the people that live there. Thank you, Brazil, for one of the best experiences of our lives. Você gostou, né, Tomás? Você tem gostado. Espero que você tenha gostado também de ter, de ter ido fazer a visita com a gente na zona rural. E que é um prazer receber você e outras pessoas que quiserem Exatamente. vir. Exatamente, é muito importante essa visibilidade da, do PSF, principalmente em uma cidade tão pequena como o Monte Santo. A gente ter visibilidade, isso é importante para a gente também, é gratificante. Uma palavra que a gente colocaria aqui é gratidão. Muito obrigada.